Well, here is our part five of our September 2016 mountain trip. Now I'll tell you what, this was my favorite day ride of 2016. And the reason I'm doing this video here, a lot of you been uh, asking when the next video is. I still haven't fi finished all of Catherine Landon. There is our website. And if you go to the toy hauler page, this is the toy hauler page and you can scroll down and all our trips with the toy hauler are there. Check it out when you get a chance. All right, on well, to our today's video. today's our last day ride. Yay. Tomorrow's a break day where we just kick back, load the bikes. And we got a nice little ride to Hot Springs. Hot Springs. And then, uh, looks like it's gonna be a short ride, so we got one more short ride Karen has, so we'll make a day of it, we'll have some fun. It's gonna be a bit foggy this morning. to say today it had some overcast but we went and I'm glad we did now a lot of times I got my radio cranked up but the only problem is when I shoot the video, the camera picks up the audio from my radio cranked up. And then when I do all this work for YouTube, it says, oh, you got copyright material. So we'll see. You can hear a little bit of my radio now and then. Let's see how it works. This here was one of my favorite rides of 2016 when we're up around Asheville with the toy hauler. figured out I need to make my video shorter. Then I get something like these film clips. It was nothing but nice and you don't want to cut one bit of footage out of it. I gotta say, this, man, the roads out here, we're going to Hot Springs, North Carolina. And it's kind of ironic here I'm making this video. It's a couple of trips back, and we just ended up going with another video webpage of Hot Springs, Arkansas. So I'm still playing catch up, and a lot of you out there has been asking about when the next video is. And since we're getting ready to take off in about a week for another big trip, more videos to make, I thought I'd try catching up a little bit with this one, give you guys something to see. A lot of times taking in the beauty of these roads I think what it's like a hundred years ago what I mean everything the life was completely different tobacco I didn't realize up here in the mountains was such a big product that they ended up uh, growing Highway 63. 
While making this video, I realized I haven't got a spot on our website for part five here, so I'm gonna have to make that today too, so you can see the pictures and maps, etc. But also remember, every time we go on a trip, usually every evening, we'll post pictures and a write-up of that day's ride. So follow us on Facebook, Michael Marcus Motorcycle Trips. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I am editing it right now.
tell you, I got a lot of stuff to do to get ready for our next trip, but heading in this video, man, I know why it was my favorite ride in 2016. I love seeing all these old cars. Now remember, this is just a video. We have our own toy hauler page that has this trip on it and you can check every day and I'm going to put the GPS map, GPX files on it too. Also, one of the hardest things to do with making these videos is finding some music. Those that know me know I'm scared of heights, but I tell you what, even with the low shoulders at times, this was too beautiful to let the camera put the camera up. I had to film all this. Well, I tell you what, it's, a, it's definitely a nice road.
sirree baby. Welcome to Hot Springs, North Carolina. What a nice place to do. Trump, we ate at. We didn't sit out here. We were inside, but you know me. I'm going to walk around with the camera. This is the backside. Now, you know, after we ate, we're going to end up exploring this neat little town, and that's exactly what we did. A lot of motorcycles here. Also, there's a few other places to eat at. I think uh, when we go in a week or so, we're going to go through Hot Springs again. We're probably going to go to the Iron Horse Restaurant or Iron Saloon. Well, honey, you learning anything? There's a big hotel here, the Mountain Park Hotel. Yeah. Uh, uh, where do they say? But in the mid 1700s, that's when they started coming here. Mid 1700s. Mm -hmm. What brought them here? The warm temperatures of the springs drew the attention of them. Huh. Hey, look, our neighbors. We know them. Yeah. Now, right here, I can't see it on the camera. I don't know if I ever zoomed in, but we seen some water moccasins or copperheads or something under the water there. Some were pretty good size. Still walking around the town, and I'll tell you, in the next clip, we're going to go to the visitor center. And I forgot the lady's name. Maybe she'll have a name tag on. You can see it. But this lady sure gave us a lot of great Ooh, information. She knew there. her history. This was really cool to listen to. South Carolina, mountains. Got hung up on the curve over. Oh, the curve over. Yeah. And it just kind of hung here for about a week and ducked about a foot of rain. Oh, and wow. then, much like uh, Fran did, we had one that came in across the south end of the state, mm -hmm. came mm -hmm. in over uh, Wilmington, mm -hmm. stayed to the south, and then parked its way just north of Charlotte, oh. much like Fran did, and poured another couple of feet. Yeah. And our water table was saturated. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, boom, lots and lots and lots of rain. So what are we going to do? Okay, great. We've got about six feet of extra rain that's going to wash down off of the hills and flood out the French Broad. Mm -hmm. At that time, what we had here in Hot Springs was essentially knee-deep water right where you are right now. Mm -hmm. yes. Knee deep here? Roughly, yes. Wow. How long did that happen? About a week. About a week. Look at this. And it was the training things. And Steve, I was asking about how did they get up here? There you go. Oh, on the Bunkenburg Bunkenburg bike? Yeah. It was stagecoaches, covered wagons, and buggies. With our rides coming up, right here is the Iron Horse uh, Saloon or whatever. We're passing it right now. That's where we're going to eat on this next trip. But like I said, if you have the time, you need to go ahead and check out the Visitor Center. And if you're lucky, you'll have the same lady we had that day. She gave a lot of information. It was very interesting. The scenery going home was still a little different, but it was still nice. And this is where I decided, ooh, we're going to go right through Asheville. So I redid the route and took us right through Asheville. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to go around and hit the Blue Ridge and take a little shortcut, but uh, I ended up going right downtown.
Man, I'll tell you what, I love going through these little towns. Can you imagine the history here? Now, one thing I've noticed, even some of the rural areas in Georgia, and it's like this up here too, I don't care how small the town is, sometimes they got a spectacular courthouse. I guess the only thing I can say with my route planning, oops. I did get us in some traffic, that's what I was trying to avoid. Here we are in Hot Springs at the Visitor Center. Like I said, you got to check this place out. That's the restaurant we ate at. We ate there as soon as we came in town. I mean, there it was. That's inside where we're eating on down second booth from the end, I think it is. And the food was good. And I'll tell you, every time we make these trips, we come back home. We got Sprocket and Clutch just waiting for us. And in fact, it's kind of sad looking. This is the Raptor. We got a new toy hauler now. Stay tuned for more videos soon to come. We're going, getting ready to make another trip in just about a week. See you on the road later.